MPD arresting a man they say murdered Jasmine Petway. The 24-year-old shot to death at Avalon Apartments earlier this month. Police say Darren Sanders turned himself in yesterday. In addition to the murder, he's also charged with domestic violence. And new tonight, Jasmine's mother joining calls to stop the recent rise in violence. Fox News reporter Lacey Beasley with the story. Of course, it'll never be the same in our family. Never. No mother ever expects to bury their child, but that is the nightmare Tashina Carter Petway struggles with every day. Jasmine Petway was shot and killed July 9th. Carter Petway says it seems like every day more and more young people are killing and getting killed. I have no clue what what's on their mind. Usually back in the day you can fight and, and, and swole eye, swole lip, and you live to see another day. But now, just a peer pressure, I'm assuming. She's found community with a group called Surviving Mothers, mothers who've also had their children killed. While this group has given her support, she says, unfortunately, too many other parents are in her same shoes. It's just too many kids are getting killed, and too many moms in my situation, and it hurts really bad. Yesterday, Mobile Police arrested Darren Sanders for Jasmine's murder. Although relieved, this mother wouldn't wish her pain on anyone, not even him. But it's not easy. It is not easy. And I wouldn't wish this on no mother. No mother. Not even his. I wouldn't wish it on no one. It's a horrible, horrible pain. In Mobile, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.